Love means being committed to the other person's highest good. Jesus spent his life doing that. The highest good for all people would that be that they became more like him by growing in holiness and living to glorify him. That commitment to the other person's highest good is the glue that will hold a marriage together, a family together, a life together. So let's recap the five elements of Jesus' love here. The costliness of love means that we have to sacrifice our selfishness for others. The caring aspect of love is that we should never be callous or rude. Love is kind. The commandment facet of love is that we do it in obedience to, of our Savior who gave himself for us. The conspicuous part of love means that it doesn't consist just of nice thoughts but of visual, visible actions. And the commitment of love is that we see ourselves and others becoming more like Christ. And I encourage you all to meditate now and then, think about, pray about the characteristics of love. And you can find them in 1 Corinthians 13. And it goes like this, love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous. It does not brag. It is not proud. Love is not rude. It is not selfish. It does not get upset with others. Love does not count up wrongs that have been done. Love takes no pleasure in evil, but rejoices over the truth. Love patiently accepts all things. It always trusts, always hopes, and always endures. This kind of love doesn't just happen. This kind of love that we have to act upon is, is not just a feeling. It's a choice.